That's the starter on the left with the gun. And all the traffic of downtown Birmingham, Alabama, still going on in the background. The competitors almost unaware, you'd have to say. Once this race starts, they will be in a little bubble of their own. That is for sure. All the preparation, all the extraordinary training. And, well, it's all come down to this. All right. Will swings on the inside there in the light blue top. Will he pick up a fourth gold medal? That is the question that a lot of people will be asking. Ku Chung Chin takes up the start. And he's been pushed a little bit by Zapata. Zapata goes now on the inside and takes up the lead. Quite uh, a modest movement around that first corner. Who's picking up the slipstream? Well, it looks like, again, the German competitor, Nils Bunnemann, is going to try to get forward. He's in sixth place at the moment, but now look at uh, the way that Bart swings. He's not going to be involved in too many squabbles in the middle of the pack. He's a front runner. We know it. We've seen it so much, so many times before. And he has got that very, very conventional skaters behind the back. This is the way that the Belgian and indeed the Dutch move so smoothly and in control. He'll be happy to just hang in there for a while. Zapata is in the lead right at this moment and that is Giuseppe Bramante. Not sure whether I mentioned him, but for Italy, is there. And there's also the Spanish competitor, Francisco Jose Buela, just jockeying for position at the moment. They don't want to get left where they're going to be excluded, eliminated in the, uh, the first few laps. Swings is there at the front again. Puella Cabello from uh, Spain is in second. And Ferry, Martin Ferry of France, happily fighting it out. And here's a little burst from Swings. He's just going hard and just goes round to the right side as he made an early break here. Ferry is following up and so is... Uh, Spain's Francisco Jose, but was that a was that a, a move that is going to be maintained or is no it is he's going to really force the issue isn't he look at that oh my goodness it's so smooth so smooth he was swinging around to the right side and he's now slowed it all down again wow he's so so talented and now he comes up the hill once more. And he's pushing, he's dragging the others through and they're struggling a little bit, even at this stage. There's the bell and that first elimination, who's it gonna be? It's swings from Belgium, from France, is Ferry from Puella, from Spain. Round this first one, in fact, he decides he's going to jump over the curb. The others follow, they found that to be the most efficient way of getting round the bend. It's Zapata that now moves up into third place. We've got the French uh, guy, Martin Ferry, in second place, but Zapata is now moved forward into third place. Swings is just grabbing, grabbing them forward. He's just, he knows his tactics, he knows the course, and he knows what will be most effective. Oy, there's a bit of breaking going on there, and Mexico have come up. This is uh, Mike Alejandro Paez Cuela has come up to get into the top three. And here you can hear the crowd getting very excited. Swings is in the lead, but I have to say he's being very, very closely monitored by Zapata and Pais Cuela from Mexico. Ferries back in fourth place, 18th lap. And although this is supposed to be a non-elimination lap, that means nothing to Bart Swings. 
He is just pushing hard. I mean, just look at the speed. He's easily going up the hill at 20 kilometers an hour, maybe more. Now it slows down, has to put a little bit of a break on as they come round that hard left-hander. But he's keeping them very, very honest, isn't he? Look at that. Pumping away with the, the left, going round to the right. Little bit of hands on knees as he comes down the hill a little bit and then puts that uh, little break on side. Venezuela's been dropped. That is Tarazona. Arturo Tarazona. Well, it's a, it's a very, very hot day. 33 degrees plus. And swings, looks around. Takes in the air, and then once he gets round this bend, he'll pump again. He's over the top of that uh, that curb. And in fact, all the front runners there are over the curb. Wow, we've got a, such a, a, a variation. I think that is Ecuador. That's Samiento who's struggling at the back at the moment. But it swings way up at the front. And I have to say, if this continues... Mike Alejandro Paezcuela from Mexico will be very, very happy. He is doing a great job. Zapata's under a bit of pressure. Now, the, the second two there, or fourth and fifth, it's um, Francisco Jose Puella from Spain, but uh, back in the crowd here. It looks like uh, USA's Michael Garcia is finding the pace a bit too strong here. And swings is just showing the quality. He knows how to destroy a field. Look how far ahead he is. He's two, three hundred meters up. Pais Quela hanging close to Zapata from Colombia back into third place. And they're having to work hard not to be dropped here. The bell has gone. 17th for the second drop off. Who was it? Well, well that may be Argentina's Ariel Rumek. I don't know. But in the meantime, swings in a class of his own is finding a way to just pump it and keep the pressure on he's got I mean it's just a thing of beauty isn't it his smooth 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 skating it's just fantastic he can actually relax a little bit too amazing there's the little break with the, the right foot Let's slow things down on that occasion. Zapata does exactly the same. And there's fourth and fifth. Yeah, well, it was an exciting race, the women's, but it doesn't look as if we're going to get a similar kind of challenge. He's way out on his own at the moment. They're all looking behind, the second and third, looking behind to where find where the... Uh, the big challenge is, because that looks like podium to me for those top three. All the others, they're, well, they're in the same race, but you wouldn't believe it, would you? It's unbelievable the way that uh, Bart Swings can keep himself in the lead and still relax at the same time. I think Garcia is going to be dropped this time. Just look at the pace, even round the corner. He's got such. I saw in the background that, that that was Michael Garcia. He will be dropped this time for sure. Short steps. Not really steps, are they? But, uh, well, this is interesting. This is interesting. Sabata is absolutely. He's out of it. Sabata is giving up. Well, Colombia are not used to seeing give, competitors giving up, but uh, Sabata is out of the race, which means that uh, Francisco Jose Puella has a chance together with, I have to say, the uh, Martin Ferry of France is right there. But here we go. Who's going to get dropped? There was a little bit of uh, pushing there. Oh, he's in agony. He's absolutely in agony. You don't see a Colombian giving up without a cause. Daniel Zapata Martinez, 30 years old now, and he's had enough. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It's very hot. It's very humid. 
the conditions are not great underfoot on the road and that pace that uh, Bart Rennett swings has actually set as that is dragging every last morsel, every ounce of energy from these uh, competitors. It's still going to be a big race for uh, second, third, but in the lead at the moment, I'm assuming he can keep it going. Ferry is the uh, second of the followers, full 10 seconds behind. This is the other part of the peloton. We can see Germany's Niels Bunemann trying to make a, an effort to catch. 14 laps remain, 13 laps remaining. And again, they're having to, Bunemann is having to just adjust his pace. Well, the great thing that Swings has managed to do, not only has he got ahead, he is on his own, which means that there's no one else. And look at the peloton actually trying so hard. They've still got a bend to go in order to catch up here. Well, this is looking good for France and for Spain. France and Spain looking to pick up second and third. Look at podium finish. 6.3 kilometers gone. 10.44 minutes for swings. He can let up a little bit, but he's not going to do so. Those little steps around the corner keeps the pace and the pressure on. Here's, uh, again, Francis Martin Ferry. And they are really working hard. Ecuador saw in the middle there, but they won't be happy about this extraordinary blitzing of the course and the opposition. Well, he's been a two-time Olympic medalist, a gold in 2022 in the mass start, a silver in 2018 in speed skating, also a world championship medalist in speed skating in multiple European championships. He is the real deal. We have a look. That's uh, second and third. Hands on knees, breaking, and it looks like uh, Martin Ferry has got... Uh, on his own at the moment, second place. Seven kilometers gone. They're halfway stage, just about coming up to halfway. Swings can afford to take a little easier, but he's still pushing and punishing himself. Just look at him go. His rhythm is amazing. He is just extraordinary. What a talent. No one can live with him. So it, from that perspective, we look now at who's going to get dropped. It looks, I have to say, it looks like uh, Portugal's Monseca Bravo is going to be dropped after that one. He takes a wide, wide berth there and then decides to put the pressure on out of the, the bend. Up the hill, once again, he just is incessant. It's extraordinary. It's no wonder he's getting a round of applause on his own. If he can just hang, hang in here, avoid picking up any injury. He's just a machine. 11 laps to go. That's second and third at the moment. Puello. Uh, Puella, Cabello and Ferry, that's fourth place. Can he make any difference? That's Mexico's Paez. Well, they're playing the game for pride at the moment. It must be quite soul-destroying to, just to stay in the elimination contest. Oh, I, I think that's Portugal gone. He's out of the contest. Yeah, that is number 50, Miguel Fonseca Bravo. It's been eliminated there. And he's just increasing his lead over everybody, every lap. Bart Swings is just 
dominating everything. It's extraordinary the way he's uh, able to just keep that pressure on. He can relax as he maintains not just the lead, but he increases it all the time. Ten laps to go. Ten laps of 550 meters. Surely he can slow down a little bit and feel good. He's not, there's no one in sight. He's been around that bend, down the hill a little bit, and he's going to have to, yep, there's the second and third. They've got to come up the hill. At least they're keeping his other company and fighting for the podium. Silver and bronze at stake there. I can't see anything else happening. Here he is, coming back up across the finish line. Nine laps to go. But, uh, that little right foot break. I can't believe, I just saw an Argentine uh, competitor just in front of Bart Swings, didn't I? I don't know what he's doing up there, but uh, he's a long way back. That is 550 meters per lap. If he's in sight, that's extraordinary. There's a lot of hands on knees at the moment. That's uh, fourth place there, Mexico's Hala. Alejandro Paezcuela. It is a procession. It's not exciting for too many people at the moment, is it? He's just absolutely killing the opposition. Nowhere to be seen. What a magnificent uh, performance this is. There's elimination, and he's just come round the corner there. France together with Spain. Swings from Sarmiento. That is uh, very interesting because I thought that is France. I think that's uh, it's France with Spain. I saw Sarmiento, but it can't be, can it? Kind of a shake out there from uh, Ferry, Martin Ferry, and also Francisco Buela. Isn't that extraordinary? Amazing. He is catching the peloton. That's 550. I thought my eyes were deceiving me, but he's now going to lap the peloton. That is extraordinary. Well, there's only seven laps to go, and he can probably, possibly, Get on the back of the peloton. That is quite a remarkable achievement. If he gets close enough, he has now got something to chase. Over the curb again, and he will get up there. If he gets ahead of the peloton, well, that is unbelievable. I think he will just stay back off the pace a little bit because those characters in front of him have yet to be fighting for elimination. Such a, an unbelievable pace he's been setting. Bart Swings of Belgium, a unique athlete. He's got a train there. I'm not sure he's going to attach himself to it, but he has the ability and he certainly has got them so closely in his sights now, with 18 minutes gone. They will not believe that he's right behind. Six laps to go. Just look how close that is. And it looks like Germany's uh, Bunnemann is going to get dropped. Dropped back behind. Yes, he's been eliminated. So he'll drop out of it. And he's been passed. I cannot believe that. There you go. There's a bit of pressure, a bit of pace. And Bunneman has dropped out. This is quite phenomenal. Bart's, Bart Swings is going 
within 50 meters now of the peloton. Well, I never thought I would be well. Maybe it's a bit more than 50 meters, 60 meters perhaps. I don't think the peloton are that aware that he's there, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't think there are any big screens, but certainly the winding nature of this uh, of this course on the laps, they must be aware that he's right there with them. This is uh, second and third place at the moment. And there he is. He's absolutely flying. Five laps to go. And do you know what? Second and third are not far off either. This is phenomenal performance. Relaxing a little bit. France and Spain. Well, it's all Europe. We've been used to seeing South America at the front, but at the moment, it's all European challenge for the top podium finish. And there he is. He's gone amongst them. Look at that. You won't want to fall off, but he's got such power. He can go through the peloton. He is ahead by more than a full lap, 550 metres, and he's going on and beyond them. They must be so, so upset. Oh, my goodness. You imagine he wins by more than a lap from the main peloton. Although second and third are significantly closer, of course. Four laps to go, but there's going to be a drop off here. Well, I'm just amazed. A little look around there by uh, Martin Ferry just to see how the ground lies. But it's, it's not that far swings from uh, lapping second and third as well. That is just phenomenal. This is the battle for second and third. It's Spain. Francisco Puella, again, with Martin Ferry. There you go, there's the top three. And he's having to relax. He's in uh, a lot of distress, is Ferry. So maybe a chance here for Spain to come through with another big, big uh, performance. That's interesting. That is very interesting. That uh, Bart has uh, managed to get another competitor on his back. But he has been lapped. Well, Ferry must have been fooling a little bit because he's now come through strongly. I thought he was in distress, but uh, coming down the hill now. Did he have a little word there with... Uh, his fellow competitor, Puella. And <laughs> Italy's Bramante is trying to keep pace with swings. He's a full lap behind him. So 13 kilometers gone, two kilometers to go. They are all taking the long way round that left hander. Over the curb. Well, this is great training for Bramante, I have to say. He is trying very hard to stay in touch, although he's a lap behind. Swings goes through, two laps to go. Everyone else will have to fall out. I think that Bramante is trying to stay in. Here's a big effort here by uh, Spain's Francisco Puella. Number nine eliminated. Well, number nine is uh, Diego Ramirez of Chile. And that familiar behind the back stance there. It's uh, 
fantastically tough, tough race this. You can see coming down the hill, hands on knees once again. And it's a great performance. Francisco Jose Puella. He's just taking a little look behind him. Bramante is getting dropped. And there, with one lap to go in this extraordinary 15,000 meter event. Martin Ferry has taken up the gauntlet now and is driving hard up the hill, looking for the right-hander to just keep going up the hill. And it looks like it's a silver medal for him if he can just keep this going. And he's having to slow down a little bit around that uh, big left-hander. And here is the extraordinary Bart Swings of Belgium. He's coming through for a remarkable victory. There we go. The final moments of this 15,000 meter race. And it is a victory again, the fourth gold medal of the series here in Alabama, in Birmingham, Alabama. It is an absolutely dominant performance from Bart Swings of Belgium. There is the second and third guys then, several hundred meters behind. But, uh, well, that really was something to behold. A lot of the peloton were lapped in this event, which is unheard of, really. 550 meters of the course. There's a really good finish, though, by Martin Ferry of France. Comes across the line now. Great work for silver medal for France. Spain from uh, Puella Cabello takes the bronze medal. Four gold medals in the pot in the distance events for Bart Swings of Belgium. He got a bronze medal as well. So four gold medals and a bronze when he entered the 1,000 meters sprints. With that concluding Ah, no wonder you want a picture. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? You do. The smiles. He hardly looks as if he hardly looks as if he's sweating. I cannot believe it. There, the other podium finishers, and it's hardly any wonder. It's been an incredible four days of track and ra road racing. Yeah. We cannot thank you enough that for being here. That is the awesome. gem. Shout out to all of the sponsors and partners, but, all of the uh, volunteers in the blue and yellow shirts. Oh, no, actually, that was the Belgian. That was Art Swings. You saw his wheels, his skates there. Your support, the fans here. Close up. Come out and cheer out these athletes. Motion. Who have made it was just something very spectacular. Look at the muscle definition on those, those legs as well. He's so efficient. Absolutely amazing. He's just looking behind him because he's lapped Bramante, who's just behind him right there. Raises his hand in triumph. And he's hardly breathing. He's hardly breathing with... Difficulty, is he? He dropped. It was amazing the way that he dropped Daniel Zapata about two-thirds of the way through. But there is the final result of the men's 15,000 meters road race. It's uh, Bart Swings of Belgium, an extraordinary time, 25.43.092. I don't think we can compare because, obviously, it's a different course from... Uh, the time in 2017 in Poland, but believe us, believe me, believe your eyes, you saw a dynamic and certainly brilliant, brilliant performance there.